later on we did have some breaking news that came through to our desk today and now for the people that know we've been following this case as long as other people but we have actually been in the courtroom to witness uh rapper arab's federal trial today and we were just talking about we may be journeying back up there thursday yeah we said it because yeah they they, you know they did it with their um you know they had the final deliberations the defendants laid their case out and everything the prosecution laid their case out now the verdict has just came through on my desk today saying man i don't think you know about it but you do know but we're gonna get to it so arab has been convicted Mm -hmm. arab and his other co-defendants have been convicted you know uh pretty much running a drug trafficking operation in the city of philadelphia pennsylvania and he's facing 15 years minimum in prison now we know it's one of those things where you know people said he probably should have copped out to it but they would offer him so much time now i'm saying the minimum of 15 years saying man not looking good for those gentlemen um that the word came down man uh crazy to the reality is tough to kind of deal with why looking yeah. in the, looking at him in the man's face and and, yeah. and hearing the the prosecutions um and seeing their evidence and listening to the feds and and looking at it kind of play out seeing the lack of evidence that they really had and to know that somebody in their camp um had to come out and basically tell everything that is going on behind the scenes for them to have any real case at all to hear about them talking about social media and we got to give arab a little bit of culpability and that as tough as that is right now we're not going to stand talk about the brother but i know that he will look things at things differently from a social media standpoint looking back on it now given the fact that they were all over that like white on rice when they were following him when you talk about plane rides and yeah and, and this or that and trips back and all this stuff not finding anything and for it to be somebody that told on him from his camp and now we know that there's certain things and, and certain uh illegal actions that we can't really confirm right now but that we're hearing that are going on with even lawyers and 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 agents and things like that is getting deep Mm -hmm. like you said behind the scenes oh god they wanted these brothers in particular they didn't want the main they didn't want anyone around they didn't Mm -hmm. want their support they didn't want anything but them when you sit in a fair case and you know the percentages we've had people dropping some great commentary on our videos giving fact to fair cases and things like that people who have been involved and they all pointed to ARAB being convicted. So although I'm not surprised right now, right. it's still a little bit of a punch in the stomach. We were trying to go out there in a couple of days and yeah. for that to drop now is like, ugh, it's, it's hard. Yeah. And I thought that he may have a shot because we were sitting up there. We were looking at the evidence. But when, I, when I'm looking at the article here, it kind of seems like and the initial reason why the feds and what they say, they started investigating OBH because of violence in the city. They said it wasn't even because of the lyrics and nothing like that, you know, but. But I think that, you know, first, let me say the guy who was the snitch in this case, the guy, Taz, before I get to the whole OBH and how I feel about that, I just think it's disgusting. The dude was a serial killer. I think it's disgusting that he was able to, you know, that the feds used him and made him flip. I think it's disgusting that he even flipped because it's just like you had you got the balls to kill somebody, many people and sleep at night. But you can't take it on the chin like a man and shit when you done this and you're going to flip and tell on, you know what I mean, your brothers and whatnot. That's crazy. It hurts. That's crazy. But, you know, as far as OBH, you know, I think that ARAB and those guys, I'm sure he would have done a lot of things differently because even though it seems like it could be entertainment for some people, is that when you begin to show these different things, you got to know, and this is a lesson for all the people out there who's doing their thing or in rap or just, you know, general in life. When you begin to show these things on the big screen where anybody can see it, if you happen to be doing something, it may not even be on the big scale because we always brought up the question, how come they never went for the person he was getting the drugs from? We talked about how they was following him on a plane. They seen him at the hotels with duffel bags. If you're thinking like, oh, you know what? Shit. Forget these young guys. Who? You know, but again, the power, the influence that he had, he was able to, you know, get 50, 60 people to come out, fill a block party. Like when he said, do things, people did it when they pried in with their techniques and their tactics. And we don't agree with it. And we feel like a lot of things were shady with this. And hopefully these brothers get an appeal. But when they were able to look in, certain things were recovered, certain lyrics and things, certain things were out there were kind of made it like, ah, when you looked at the jewelry, that even though we saw a couple, you know, um, African Americans in there, and maybe um, an East Indian, 
we thought maybe, uh, but no, I mean, nah. people don't, it, they don't relate to it because they painted the picture like these dudes are committing murders, they're selling drugs in the city, they're tyrants, look, he's a rapper, but he did this, they got text messages and things like that, so I just feel bad, you know, um, and, and the thing is, like, yeah, if somebody does something and they got to do time, okay, but is this really going to, in the bigger scheme of things, make the city of Philadelphia better? Is it going to stop drugs from coming into the city? I don't think so. Oh God. Um, what do you, what's your thoughts and your opinions now on dark low seeing the conviction of the AR rap and his, his affiliates and <laughs> co-defendants, does it give you any optimism or to kind of give you a, a terrible feeling in your stomach about him as well? Um, you know, it's a little different. Okay. He's not, he's not included in this. I mean, it is a maximum of 20 years. That you can get it's still not a good situation to be in obviously still dealing with the feds but um, right, right. i would say the fact that a conviction you know came down it might make it easier now for whoever you know if he had a jury if he took it to trial in the next case it, they would be swayed by that i would think you know what i'm saying but again you know um anytime you talk about attorneys and if, attorney, if attorneys are watching this they will always say everything that they're doing in court they're making a record for an appeal. Everything is like, all right, we got to get an appeal here just in case we lose. So the, everything is being set up for that appeal. So hopefully, and it's not common, especially in these federal cases, that they will get an appeal. Because, again, we sat in there, and it seemed like the fix was in the, judge the whole time. Yeah, he was partial. He wasn't letting the defense present their case. It's almost like, look, we recovered this stuff. I believe Team USA, the agents, <laughs> my government, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot. I'm going with what they said. These dudes are criminals. They're guilty. And that's all you want is to be heard. Now, we were hearing that the defense, and, and, I mean, they had a great defense team. I mean, if you were sitting there, you know, and you would probably think that, you know, that, you know, that, that the defense, you know, beat them. They didn't deserve to lose that. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, the, the way they laid it out and the way they were passionate about that case and things that they laid out, you know what I'm saying? I think that they really wanted to win that, and they really believed that, okay, yeah, they may have conceded to, yeah, it was some drugs and stuff being sold or whatnot. Slap me on the wrist. You want to give me some time for that? Cool. But to paint it like this is some big criminal enterprise organization like the mob that's calling hits on people, you know, that's, you know, uh, uh, um, terrorizing the city, that's killing people, not only through violence, but through the sale of illegal and illicit drugs. I don't think that it was, it, it was that. But again, this is what, the federal government and the feds specialize in doing and this is what they want to come in on they want to if they see that you're sophisticated enough you know to 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 build your own business you know what by legal means and got other people working for you and got payrolls and things like that it's run they figure that as a business just like if you don't pay your taxes and the irs they're coming for you same thing on the criminal side so you know um unfortunate unfortunate i will say this i think that he definitely, AR app definitely needed to be smarter with some of the social media things. And I point to one thing, Sam, man, before I pass it over to you. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but I think it was around the time the Super Bowl and um, him and Birdman, they had a bet and he showed a whole bunch of money on the table. Now, for me or you or somebody, even me or you, it wouldn't be cool, but somebody who knows that, you know, everything we do is on the books. And whatnot, that wouldn't even be smart for us to do like that because they could see it as, oh shit, this is unaccounted money for him. Not to say that it was, maybe it was perfectly accounted for. He uh, withdrew the money from his bank account. But one thing's for sure, one thing's for certain, they're going to now look at you now and look into what you're doing because you're saying things and whatnot. You're saying it in your lyrics and whatnot. And now they can see. On you know Instagram and social media, they start trying to piece things together. They get the little fucking warrants and the wiretaps to now pry into your life, start following you and shit. Next thing you know, now look, man, sad, sad. I, f I feel bad, you know, um, you know, for for those brothers, man, because I seen something a little bit different than what everybody seen. Yeah, man, I I'm not really gonna put much on that, man. That was very well put, very well said. Real unfortunate right now. We're getting it like live. So yeah, yeah. it's still a little bit to digest and, and we'll talk about it more in the next couple of podcasts before we get up out of here during the week. Yeah. But um, what's next sentencing? We'll figure that out in the next couple of days or so. Yeah. Now, again, he's facing the minimum of 15 years of minimum. So guys, probably what? 36, 37, I think, you know, um, he won't be looking at getting out 
you know, um, for the next probably 20 years. But again, I mean, you know, we shall see. You still got you still got an appeals process where his uh, attorneys they'll put in for an appeal. That's not likely. Mm-hmm. You know, you want you won't want to hang your hat on that. But then you have the sentencing, which could be you know anywhere from now to March. And um, you know, pray he gets to 15 and is able to you know do 85 percent of that or whatever the case may be with the feds and um maybe 12, 13 years can make something happen f- for his life or whatnot. Definitely, man. Lesson learned for these young brothers and sisters out here, especially on social yeah. media, especially in hip hop, man. Just yeah. just pay attention and protect yourself. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we're going to actually uh, close down on that. We hope that you enjoyed the program today. Excuse me. Episode 266 of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast starring your brother.